This is going to be the fourth and final part. <clears throat> My throat chakra keeps getting interrupted, keeps getting blocked. So I feel like whoever this was, um, their throat chakra could have been blocked. There could have been um, a lack of communication. And we got ghosted, so someone could have just went totally silent on you. But I feel like this person was dealing with a lot. They had mommy issues, probably some daddy issues, feeling real defensive because... Um, they've gotten heartbroken in the past could have been heartbroken by their parents or heartbroken from connections for some they could have had a partner that they were dealing with okay that blindsided them caused a lot of heartbreak and hurt people hurt people so this person got real defensive with you because they could have gotten some type of truth or clarity okay that maybe they had some addictions or they were given to a situation where um, they weren't really getting a return which was causing or creating some type of heartbreak, okay? And because they were holding on to this heartbreak from the past, it was causing stagnation and you guys is in connection, okay? This person could also have addictions, sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, okay? And you could have exposed this truth in some type of way. You may not even be, you know, have those addictions, but... You may have, they might have tried to do it in front of you or something, and you were like, oh, I don't, you know, that's not me. To each their own, do your thing, but that's just not me. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you did tell them, like, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I can't be with someone who does certain, you know, certain things, and they could be feeling real defensive because they may feel like you may have judged them or something along those lines but i feel like you weren't being judgmental you were trying to give this person clarity but because they had on rose colored glasses because they're still blinded from the hurt from the past they weren't seeing it from your perspective but i see i feel like now i i see this person is getting like a change of perspective i'm being told to pull on top of the deck yeah with a judgment card i told y'all this person could have been feeling judged but i feel like they're going through some type of awakening okay they're receiving some type of enlightenment, truth, and clarity that possibly that they are in a karmic connection or that, you know, they made a decision about an empress out of hurt, being defensive, okay? We got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You made a head over heart decision. I feel like you also could be going through an awakening, okay? This person could be going through a heart chakra awakening, but with you, I feel like, you're seeing more clearly. You could be seeing how this person has certain addictions or attachments, okay? Getting clarity about how this person is operating, but why it is that they operate the way that they operate, okay? But this person may reveal to you, we got the King of Cups here, Scorpio Energy, talking to this Queen of Cups, I mean, this Queen of Swords, who could be the Queen of Cups, which means they're both a match, they both love each other, but it's like this person sees more clearly. And they could be feeling judged by this, this feminine energy. Okay, but I don't feel like this feminine energy is trying to judge them. They're just trying to give them truth and clarity. But because they're so heartbroken from their past and feeling defensive, like it's like there is no fair even reciprocity in, in this connection. And that would, could be the snake-like energy. Like this person is being defensive towards someone who really loves them too. They love them too. Okay. We got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This person is really trying to work on this commitment. You could have been really trying to work on a commitment, but it could be just you realize that somebody needs to heal from heartbreak and you're healing from heartbreak and you're trying to free yourself from this toxic connection. And this person could be keeping you kind of stagnant in a connection. If you are in a connection with someone, they could be keeping you stagnant because they're still holding on, feeling defensive about some things that happened to them in their past. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in reverse, okay? They could be dealing with somebody who's very jealous, envious of you, okay? They're going through some type of heart chakra awakening, wanting a new beginning in love, and I told y'all that. We got the three of wands that could have had this person waiting at a distance, okay? For some, they had some type of third-party situation. Someone was waiting at a distance, okay? This could be somebody who was jealous of you or envious of you, and it doesn't have to be like somebody that they were sleeping with. For some, it was somebody they were sleeping with. For others, this is somebody um, who they were maybe close to who was just jealous and envious of you, okay? With the hermit card, they could have ghosted this person, 
this could have been somebody who used to seek um clarity outside themselves but they're going within soul searching okay we got the ten of pentacles in reverse and the ten of wands wanted to peek out whoever this is could be carrying a lot of burdens has some blockages in their finances okay dealing with some financial issues missing out on abundance we got the four of wands could be somebody who's married okay trying to go within when it comes to a choice when it comes to a union they don't have to necessarily be married they could be um living with someone somebody can be going within about their stability how stable a connection may be because they have them waiting at a distance and we had ghosted so somebody definitely just went silent on someone okay this could be somebody who they had a family with okay but well, we got the nine of cups this person is realizing that the filming starts within okay to find true happiness and stability is to find that within this person is soul searching manifesting with the magician card virgo energy oh but i don't like this somebody could be doing sex magic king of wands aries leo sagittarius somebody's into dark magic too y'all they get in signs and synchronicities basically about this not working but it is giving there is somebody who is working against a connection okay i don't know if it's this queen of wands in reverse doing sex magic on this king of wands okay but it's giving this person plays on this person's addiction so this person could know that this person has sex addictions so they might dangle sex in front of this person okay or use their looks or um you know whatever to try to lure this person they could have tried to have this person ghost y'all okay for some somebody was dealing with somebody could have been an ex somebody they were having sex with it could be a baby mama whatever but they had this person waiting at a distance for this person to come back they could have ghosted them this person was using sex to manifest this person and with the devil card capricorn energy it was sex magic they were using sex magic on this masculine oh we y'all this might be something that they're finding out with the snake energy remember we had the empath versus narcissist paradigm being charmed to use somebody was using sex magic somebody needs to set boundaries when it comes to who they give the good good to I don't know why that just made me mad. But with the Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody who didn't invest. They didn't give you an offer of stability. But they're learning a lesson when it comes to this Taurus energy. Divine intervention. The divine is stepping in. They may be giving this person clarity about how they need to better protect themselves. They could be feeling real defensive towards you because they have somebody that they're dealing with who's doing sex magic on them this person could be telling them that you try to do magic on them but i don't see the empress doing any magic you just focusing on yourself love all that stuff committing to self committed to growth manifesting your dreams into reality manifesting stability manifesting new homes okay you could be manifesting a new car this person over here is causing and creating heartbreak but i feel like this is what this masculine created okay they were being real defensive towards you. They could have had somebody buzzing in their ear. But whoever this is, they in the dark magic. They could be learning this with the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Watching you for some. They could be watching you and comparing you to this person and realizing, learning a lesson. Okay? Seeing that they want to reconcile. And for some of y'all, they watch your platform. And something about your platform is illuminating something to this person. Okay? But y'all moving on to love. I see the king and queen of cups right here. Y'all going towards somebody who is mature, okay? And this person, they were not mature. We got the moon card, Cancerian energy, okay? Someone could be learning that they have some deep emotions or they've been suppressing something, okay? But they're releasing this and going through a transformation. Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck, death and rebirth. They're going through a heart awakening somebody wants a new beginning in love and they're about to take a risk take a chance take that leap of faith with this uh fool's car aries energy at the bottom of the deck yeah this person is about to rush in passionately y'all they about to come in take this leap of faith they've been going through a transformation they could have put an end to a connection they learned the lesson they could have been learning that they've been suppressing and holding some emotions down i don't see the release card they still need the release but things is true this person